Hi, I'm Richard Zier from Rocket Science Audio here at Pearl Music Studios in Hollywood. It's been five years now since the original Servicing the Ghost videos were posted and I thought we were due for an update. So I wanted to do something really special, different from a usual mod. People are always asking me what are the best capacitors to use, what are the best op amps. And I want to do some, go beyond that. Now let's think about really servicing the Ghost 2.0. So what I thought about was, what are the biggest drawbacks of this console? And it's always been, how do you get into it? How do you service it? And it usually takes me a full day to take everything apart and open up this console, pull things out, take them on the bench, put them back in, close it up again, test it, make sure it's working. That's a whole day, even just to do a, few, a little minor maintenance. So I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if to service this console, all you had to do was just open it up? Whoa! Does your ghost do that? How did he do that? I'm glad you asked. And the really cool thing about working on this console like this from this position is that you've got the entire surface area here where you can put your tools, you put a soldering iron, you can even pull a module out of here, lay it down here, I could put my oscilloscope here, I could bring my whole bench in here instead of bringing these things, taking these to the bench. And especially if you don't have a bench, you don't have the space, this is a great space right here. I bet if you were really, didn't have a couch, you could even crawl in here and go to sleep. Originally, when I installed these hinges, one here and one here, they're three inch stainless steel hinges, they're pretty strong, they're very strong in fact. They're, they're door hinges and they have a, a drive pin that, like a normal a door pin that most door hinges have and that's very necessary because I found that that was the only way that I could attach the screws on the inside and the outside and still be, and then be able to because you when the console is closed you can't get at them and you can't open the console when, when the hinges haven't been installed so the only way I could do it was to is it was a process of going back and forth, measuring, putting the console down, putting the hinges up, doing one side of the hinges, then doing the other side of the hinges, and then making sure that everything was precisely drilled so that, the, that they matched up, and then I could drive the door pins in. Once I did that, the hinges worked beautifully. However, the first time I picked up this console wasn't like it is right now. Right now it seems like it's, it's nice and solid, but initially, First time I picked it up, it just wobbled. It was like, it felt like jello. It did not feel good at all. It was like, I set it down immediately because I go, I, I didn't feel safe. I go, something's gonna break here. This is, was not designed for it. This is a pretty heavy um, piece of steel here for the bottom, but it was never designed to support the entire weight of the console like we're doing here. The only reason this works, there needed to be installed this metal plate to stiffen up the console. The plate that I used I got at Home Depot. It's two inches wide, three sixteenths of an inch thick, so it's pretty heavy steel. It's very rigid. And then I put, I believe there's 17 bolts in there and you can see how I kind of zigzagged them back and forth. And by doing so, stiffened up the bottom plate on the console. And from the underside of the console, you can see the hinges, how they're attached, and all the quarter inch bolts that go the entire length of the console. One thing to be aware of is that this will only work on consoles that are mounted on the stand that was built for the Ghost. These stands were sold as an option, so you may not have one. If this is the case, you will need to find another way to secure the console. This is what I use for a prop stick. It's a one by two piece of oak that I had laying around. I cut it down to 35 inches, which is just about the right length 
high enough so that you can get at any, everything inside the console, but not so high that when you're pushing it up, there's a danger of pushing it past the point of no return, which could be disastrous. And here's a shorter 17 inch prop stick made out of pine, which is good for certain jobs where you don't need to lift the console up so high. And now for the disclaimer. We don't expect anyone to actually perform the modification we've just described. It's purely a demonstration of what can be done by someone with the right tools and the mechanical engineering aptitude. In other words, don't try this at home. I'm a professional. So that concludes our ghost video for today. Servicing the Ghost 2.0. I hope you enjoyed it. And I don't know how many of you are going to attempt to do this, but it is doable. Um, if anybody has any questions, which you always do, um, please don't go to my website and contact me that way. Just leave a, a message on the YouTube page. That way if I, I can answer it, and I only have to answer it once, because typically people ask the same questions over and over again. So um, I, tell, I don't always have time to answer them two or three times. So leave them on the YouTube page, and I will answer the best I can. So that's it. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.